Hi, I'm Max Venus, and in this video, we're going to look at FL Studio's piano roll. So, in FL Studio, you're going to want to press F7 to open up your piano roll. Um, it's found also up here at the top. So, what is the piano roll? What is it used for? Uh, it's basically the MIDI editor in FL Studio. So, where you've got the, cha the channel rack and you've got your different instruments, um, whichever one you've got highlighted uh, is going to it's going to open the piano roll when you press F7. So if I uh, press F7, sorry, and I've got three OSC uh, highlighted here, it's going to open the piano roll for the three OSC. So any data I add there will go for three OSC. And then here, if I press F7, it's going to change the strings I've got. So you can quickly uh, and easily add in the MIDI notes for all the different instruments you've got using uh, using the piano roll in that fashion. So you can just uh, right click and cut, just to delete these here. Um, so, it's basically a MIDI, MIDI editor. Uh, it's where you create uh, more um, ex more advanced melodies, uh, your chords, um, your VSTs. Um, so, we're just going to quickly add in some notes here by just clicking in. You can click with the left mouse button to add notes, right click to delete them. Really straightforward and easy. And you can resize these notes and you can hold Alt to change them, change the size of them off the grid. So you're not limited to the grid, but at the top here, you've got the option to obviously set the grid amount that you need. So each of these notes uh, has a different, has its own uh, velocity control at the bottom here. So you can, if you're programming something more dynamic, maybe like a piano, you can adjust the different notes to create a much more um, natural sounding piece of music. I'm not sure this sound is gonna allow me to do but we've got like a pad sound going here. It's just going to stretch some notes out. Another great unique function of the piano roll in FR Studio is the ability to add slide notes. So what a slide note does is it ultimately adjusts the pitch uh, based on the position of the slide note. So this slide note, if I uh, make it really small here, you'll see as these notes play, they're going to all be pitched up to this C sharp here. So it enables you to do quick portamento changes on the fly in your piano roll, which is a great tool for creating some unique sounds. So um, you've also got the ability to change the color of these notes uh, on the top left. So if you added in a different color note, for instance, um, if I add in here a take slide off at the top, so you can toggle slide using this little button there. Uh, so yeah, if I take slide off and add a high note in here, If I then make sure that I've got the same color as the note as I previously added, so the single top note here, uh, I've got the same color selected and I select the slide option, I can now have the ability to control the pitch of just that one note in this, pit, in this uh, piano roll, which is great for doing things like this. So you can see that just the pitch of the top note is being a change there. So I'm just going to quickly open up Harmer here and I'm going to change it to a different preset so I can show you some of the other features. I'm going to use a uh, maybe a keyboard sound here. Just have a flick through. So I'm just going to show you the uh, other features that you can take advantage of in the piano roll here. Under, under the wrench, uh, you've got the option to arpeggiate the notes. So if you've added in a chord or any notes, you can just take, uh, come down here and select arpeggiate, which is also Alt and A. All the shortcuts here can be seen against each of the options. So if we open up the arpeggiator here and play, you can see that it's arpeggiating the notes. Uh, so if you t adjust the time knob here, you can uh, speed up that arpeggiator. You can go pretty crazy with that. So there's different patterns you can uh, take. There's a flip option. Or more of a hold. Adjust the range, so the octave. And if, you, if you've got a more off, off the grid pattern, you can sync it and change the sync options here. You can use the gate to adjust the length of the notes to give them more of a staccato. 
all the way down. So great for creating some uh, different patterns in there quite quickly and easily. Um, there's also the option to load in some pre, some like they're basically grooves. Um, so it keeps the same notes, but you can adjust the groove on the fly. So feel free to play with those and see what you can come up with. It's a great, great little tool for experimenting. Uh, so yeah, if you just cancel out, you're straight back to your chords, or you can accept to uh, keep the changes. Um, so just a quick look at the, some of the shortcuts in here. Uh, it's very similar to the playlist in FL. Uh, draw function just allows you to add notes uh, wherever you like and click and drag and move them around. Uh, there's a paintbrush as well, which is great for adding quickly, just loads of notes. So we can just adjust, adjust the length of all of those by selecting them all and adjusting the length of one of them. Gives you the ability to change the length of all of the notes in there. At the top of the uh, piano roll here, there's the option to flick between the different instruments you've got loaded. So if I was working on maybe this pad synth that I've got here and I wanted to add another option of maybe a string behind it, I can select the different instrument here without having to leave the piano roll, which is great. So now I'm uh, writing a pattern for the string instrument, which I've got. Maybe I want the strings a bit louder. If you wanted to adjust a single volume, uh, just the volume of a single note, you can just highlight that note and then the highlighted value will be, will be the only one that's edited. So here we've got a chord, for instance. If I was to edit here, all of the notes would be changed in velocity. But if I wanted to just turn down maybe the bass note, I can just highlight the bass note, drag it down in volume, and now the other notes are louder, but the bass note is a little quieter. So again, just highlighting the highest note. And you can see it's much quieter now. So you can quickly flick between there and adjust the uh, velocities of all the notes. Um, there's obviously, you can zoom in and out here, but the same options that work in the playlist also apply here. You can adjust the different pan settings for each of the notes. So for our synth pad here, we might be able to, we could pan it around a bit. So FR Studio gives you the option to save um, your scores, which is a great tool if you've created a melody, but maybe it's not working for this particular track, but you really love the MIDI or the, the melodic element of it and you want to save it and maybe load it into a different synth, maybe a different project. You can quickly come up here and save. Uh, so you can save the scores, you can export them as MIDI. Um, so if we just save this as a chord, it, we could then come back to this chord at a later date. But you can also just load in other stuff. So let's see, um, I think we've got some chords here. So you can just, I've just loaded in an entirely new melody that was made maybe, maybe at a different time on a different instrument, but now it's applying to this, this little string section. Maybe not the best sound for that. Let's load it in there. <laughs> So when you change between the instruments, you'll see there that there's a gray outline of the original melody behind there. If you don't see that in your piano roll, come down into this option here on the top left hand side, select helpers, come in here and make sure that ghost channels is enabled. This will enable you to switch between the different instruments and still be able to see that melodic information. So you might, you can easily then create harmonies and add the chords for those, creating much more uh, it gives you just the visibility without having to flick back and see what, we, what notes you were playing. Really useful tool. Don't know if there's any sound on that. Let me just adjust the velocity. So you can just add a bass line pretty straightforward. So another great feature in FR Studio's piano roll is the ability to uh, strum the notes. So if I just put in here a quick chord, just so we've got something to work with. So there's a simple chord there, but if you wanted to adjust it and maybe make it a little bit more human, come back up to this uh, 
wrench icon here and select a strum option. So what this enables, what this does is it creates a more of a plucked effect. And you can adjust the, the length of the note and the, how quickly those notes are triggered. So you find something that works for your track and makes it sound a that little bit more human. So in this video, we've looked at FL Studio's piano roll. We've looked at quickly flicking between the instruments, adding pan to your MIDI, and uh, creating some interesting arpeggiators out of a basic chord.